Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Crew First Culture. Thanks again for stopping by if you're listening or watching. Today, we have some special guests, including yours truly. Um, I'm Kylie. This is Jacob. And that is Trevor. You know, that's the celebrity guest here today. And we are currently shooting this for the fourth time. So it's getting kind of old here. But we're in it for a good time. That's where we're gonna have. All right. Well, there you go. There's the the ultimate intro. She's been listening to some of the older videos to try to nail it. So they're pretty good. I, I appreciate that, Kylie. So, like she said, I am joined today by some very special guests, some of the kids that I claim sometimes. <laughs> Just kidding. Some of the kids that I love so much, and we got a big family, and so we don't have them all here, but I'm joined by at least three of them, so that's that's a good thing. And so, to again, like she said, this is the fourth time we've tried this. I think the something's trying to, to keep us from doing this, trying to keep us from spreading good throughout the world, isn't that right? Yeah. So we got to keep fighting the the negative and and keep pushing forward and hopefully this time we'll be the winner. So we'll You're see. Sound- Do what? You're sounding a bit too positive here. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I hope it's I hope it's the right time because I don't know if we have another one in us. This this has sucked away a lot of our day, but but it's been a good time. We've enjoyed it. We've got some good conversation and and so I'm, I'm sure we've learned some stuff as well. So. Anyway, to to get back in this, like I said, we're we're probably we're all tired of our jokes that we've said four times now, but but we're going to say them like it was our first time to say them because you guys haven't heard them. But uh, to start out, we're, we're we live on a you know a small farm. We've got ten acres in Oklahoma and and lots of animals, and so that's kind of what, part of what we enjoy doing. Enjoys family time and being outside and I'm, I'm very appreciative that I've got some kids that that enjoy the outsides that we've got some kids that don't necessarily enjoy the outsides as, as much but that's fine but uh we we do love the animals and so Kylie what kind of animals do we have um we have a good question we have peacocks donkeys um and we have a bunch of goats, a bunch of cats. We have two dogs. One is mine, and she's an angel, and she never does anything wrong ever, right. except get in the trash occasionally. Mm-hmm. And we have Maverick, who's super ornery and is always getting into trouble. And we have a few goats, actually, right now, who are about to have some babies. Yeah. And we have inside animals other than the dogs. We have, I have two lizards, Stevie Carlton and Carl Stevenson, <laughs> and I have Charlotte, my hedgehog, and then Sophie, my dog. Very good. That's quite a mouthful and quite a, a lot of animals, that's for sure. So, Jacob, what is your, your favorite animal? Uh, Jesse and Hank. Okay, so what are, what are Jesse and Hank? They are both Billy Goats. Billy goats, they're pretty good goats, huh? <laughs> Trevor, so Trevor, just to, to give you a little insight, Trevor lives a, a ways away, but he lives in the town I work in, and so it's easy to pick him up on my way home, and and we try to get him as, as often as we can and enjoy that time with him, and as of as of now, he tells us he's he enjoys his time here too. I don't know if that's just being nice to us or, or what, but, but we'll take it. But he he loves the animals as well. And so, Trevor, what are your favorite animals? Um, I like the peacocks, and um, Zelda is a cat, and my favorite animal is Dan the donkey. Okay, so Dan is Dan was our very first farm animal here. We got him even before we moved into the house. They had to the last owners had to keep him for a little bit until we moved in and and fixed the fence. So we've had him for a long time. We bought him under the assumption he was seven. And 
after a, a vet visit, we found out that he was more around 30 plus, which in donkey years puts him well into his 90s. So he was uh, old Dan when we bought him. That was his name. So we kept his name and he's definitely one of the family favorites. He's a he's a good donkey and, and loves attention. So I, I think he's one of my favorites as well. But so kind of getting into what kids love and, and this time of year. So what did you guys get? Just some of your favorite Christmas presents you got. Um, this year I got a Apple watch to go with my new phone that I got. It's my brother's old one. <laughs> he upgraded to the 11. And so I've been using it and it's really helpful and I like it a lot. Yeah. And that's, of course, you got a big family. You got hand-me-downs, right? Mm -hmm. So hand-me-downs are always good. Mm -hmm. Better than nothing, huh? <laughs> Trevor, what are your favorites? Um, I got a um arcade pack pack man machine. Okay. Like a full size one? Yeah. That's pretty cool. You uh is it something you can play with your brothers or just yeah. a multiplayer? Yeah, I play with uh, my most of my brothers. Good. Is it big? Mm. <laughs> Jacob, what are just name a couple of your favorite things you got? Um, a Nerf gun, a keyboard, a helicopter, Iron Man set, and a punching bag and an art. Very good. Supplies. Yeah, quite a bit of good good things here this year for everybody. So we try to keep things positive on the show. I, I want to try my best to, to bring something good. Well, the, the times it seems like it's really easy to be immersed in negativity and you know how bad the year is and how bad everything is. And so one of the main reasons that I'm doing this is to, to do some positive stuff, to, to put some positive stuff out there. So what are some good memories of 2020 for you all? Some good things that happened. Trevor? Um, dyeing my hair and spending time with family. Okay. So Trevor's hair is blonde right now. So what other colors have you dyed your hair? Pink and purple. Pink and purple. And like I said earlier, the we we had a wedding reception for our oldest daughter in October and Trevor showed up with some super bright neon fluorescent pink hair and it was it was pretty bright huh yeah <laughs> and what other colors are you wanting to um to go from here blue and red okay sounds good Kylie um I think <laughs> my favorite memory from this year is going on vacation with my friend Courtney we went to Orange Beach, Alabama, and it was really fun. And there wasn't, it was during the early stages when everything was just starting, but still there wasn't a lot of stuff that we couldn't do because of uh, COVID and everything. So that was good. Everything was pretty normal. And recently it, just, it snowed a lot and we got school canceled the whole week. So that was cool. And we got to build giant snowmans and go sledding. Very good. Jacob, do you enjoy the snowman? Mm. The sledding? Yeah. Yeah. It was a pretty good time. We we don't get a snow like that around here very often. It's been a long time. So got out and built some big, big snowmen, like she said, and, and got to sled. And it was, it was a pretty good time. I think everybody enjoyed themselves. So we are recording this on the last day of the year this is december 31st and with that we got a new year coming right around the corner and so with new years everybody's got their resolutions and different things they're going to work on and all that so do you guys have anything that you're going to try to focus on doing better or or become better this year uh i've started to take art classes oh okay yeah. trevor's really good at art he's pretty impressive He's way better than me. Like at everything. He beats me at everything. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. 
So for those of you that don't know, Trevor uses his mouth for everything he does. He writes, he draws, he colors with his mouth, and it is very impressive. I'll have to and post some. He still videos. beats me at everything. <laughs> so Kylie, what do you have that, that you are going to focus on and do better? Um, I definitely want to practice basketball and get better at basketball. Um, I want to get better at not forgetting things because I forget things a lot. And I want to start training for track and get Sophie some exercise because she's getting kind of chubby. Okay. So Sophie is going to be on a New Year's resolution to lose some weight? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Glad you guys have some things to kind of focus on. So, of course, one of the biggest things we do here is we talk about leadership and, and a lot of other stuff, but leadership is definitely one of the biggest things we do. And, and that's kind of what we're going to focus on today. So starting out, what does leadership mean to you guys? Um, to me, leadership means someone who is in charge, but more than that, someone who can make tough decisions and think about what's best for not only themselves, but the people that they're leading in their group or their team and just make the right call for everyone and someone who their team can trust to make the right decision. That's pretty good. Trevor? Um, someone that can stand up for others that can't stand up for themselves. Pretty good. Jacob? What does leadership mean to you? You said a really good answer last time. You remember what it was? Um, uh, fighting for what's right. Very good. Yep, that's what you said. That was something I was pretty impressed. That was a good answer. And I said it last time, I forgot this time. So Kylie is 12, mm -hmm. Trevor is 16, and Jacob is nine. I, I fumbled around with Jacob's age last time. Kylie laughed at me, but we got a lot of kids, so some of them you got to stop and, and think about how old they are. But anyway, very good answers from from all of you. I'm, I'm very proud of, of those answers. So I think they all obviously are, are great. And and the and the good thing about leadership and leaders is that we all have good things about us that we're better at than others, and we have things that we need to work on. And so. That just means that there's lots of different ways you can be a good leader. And so kind of that leads us into our next question is, what are some good character traits that you say, or that you would say a leader needs? Trevor? Um, trustworthy and brave. Okay. Jacob, you got your hand up here like we're in class. So what <laughs> do you have, what's a good character trait that a leader has? Something that describes them. Well, what it, what makes a person a good leader? Mm. You said fighting for what's right. Does that mean that you're brave? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's kind of what Trevor said, and that's what makes somebody a good leader. So I would say that's a good one. So Kylie? Um, I think to be a good leader, some character traits that you can have are you can what I say are three abilities which I almost forgot because I've said them four times already <laughs> my three abilities are uh, responsibility and the ability to be a leader and accountability <laughs> I always forgot my abilities which is very sad but I've said that so many times but yeah, those are my abilities. Accountability, trustability, re responsi trustability. <laughs> responsibility, <laughs> and ability to be a leader. So Kylie's three abilities. Go, go ahead and get that trademark real quick before somebody steals that. From yeah, you. got a patent, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. So don't anybody out there trying to, to steal that idea. My abilities. You heard it. From Kylie first. My abilities. Kylie's, <laughs> Kylie's abilities. We know lawyers. And yeah. <laughs> we'll come after you if you test. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
good stuff. That is definitely good stuff. And so I think that kind of like we talked about earlier, you know, each, each leader that, or each person you think uh, as a good leader, you know, they, they have different traits that they're better at and what makes them particularly good. But it's cool that each person isn't exactly like another. And so some of them, some of us will, will have different areas that we're better at and that makes us good leaders, but we're, we're weaker in certain areas, but other people will have stronger traits in the places you're weak and that's what makes them a better leader so it's 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 pretty neat how how individualized some of these things can be but yet you still can be a good leader no matter what you what you have so going from there what you know you guys name some good things some good traits what do you think are what do you think is maybe one or two of the most important things to become a good leader? Um, I think that accountability is really important to be a leader because you, if you want to be a good leader, your team needs to be able to count on you to not only make the right decisions in a position where you're the one who has to make the decisions, you have to look out for your team and they need to count on you to be able to do that. Okay, so accountability is your your biggest one. Okay, uh, Trevor. Um, trustworthy because I feel like you should like at least trust the person that you're listening to. Yeah. Like in football, if uh, the team captain is calling the plays, you should trust the plays that he's calling. Okay, so is does it make it easier to follow somebody that you trust? Yes. Is it is it very easy to follow somebody that you don't trust? No. So it's it's a pretty big deal, huh? Yeah. If you don't if you don't have that trust in the person that's making the decisions, it makes it really hard to follow them, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. So that's kind of your your biggest things there. So tell me, do you guys feel like your leaders? To my siblings, yes. Okay. So. Talk a little bit more about that. Why Why are you a leader to your siblings? siblings? Because um, my siblings trust me to uh, make the right decision. Like if they're about to get in trouble, I tell them like what not to do and to do. Yeah, that's pretty good. And so like uh, we talked about earlier, I, I think that really clearly describes accountability. To me, you know, you're you're holding them accountable for their actions. And so... Well, that, like Kylie said, that's one of her uh, their, one of her abilities. So accountability is definitely good. So that's good. It's good to be, and, and something else that goes along with that is you're being a good example too, right? Mm -hmm. So another really important thing for leaders is to be a good example for those around you. So that's, that's good. Kylie, are you a leader? Um, I would say that I'm a leader, yeah. Maybe not full-time like you are. <laughs> But I am, I can be a leader on the court, like when we play basketball. Um, I'm a leader to my teammates, and sometimes I'm a leader to my siblings, but not always, because I'm kind of, I'm close to the youngest other than Jacob, but I try. Yeah, well, that. That kind of you saying it like that leads into some of the other things we've talked about. And that's, you don't have to be a dad or a mom or the oldest kid or a chief or a general or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. You can be a leader no matter what you are, or how old you are. Do you think that's right? Yeah. So that's, that's a kind of a good point to go along with that is, is everybody has something special to give as far as as being a leader and and just sharing that example or whatever it is. So that's that's a good point. Even though you are one of the younger kids, you can still lead by a good example and and like Trevor said, kind of help your brothers and sisters to to do good. So that's mm -hmm. that's good. So now that that i've asked that and you both think that you that you are leaders is that something that you guys enjoy do you enjoy being a leader and putting that role 
he has to be motivated and patient. So, so are you saying that you like it or yeah. are you saying you don't like it? I do like it. You do like yeah. it because you have to be motivated and yeah. patient? Are those things that come easy for you? Um, sometimes. It depends on what like they're doing. Do you like being a leader? I do, yes. Um, it's just like what Trevor said about motivation and patience. Motivation comes pretty easily to me. Patience does not. Like with him, Jacob, I do not have much patience. So I definitely need to work on that. But yes, I like being a leader. Good. So that's that's kind of, you know, that, that goes back to what we talked about is, is everybody has things that are good about them. Everybody has things that come easy. And everybody also has things that we need to work on, right? Yeah. And so that, that kind of leads into another question is, is it okay for a leader to mess up? Yes, absolutely. Because when somebody messes up, it doesn't matter if you're a leader or not, it gives you an opportunity to recognize that you made a mistake, acknowledge it, and grow from it because you figure out what you did wrong and you learn from that and then you grow from it. Okay, Trevor, what do you think? Is it all right for leaders to mess up? Yes, everybody makes mistakes. And if you learn from it, then you might not make it a mistake again. What What's another good thing about making a mistake and taking responsibility? What else comes uh, out? It shows the people that follow you that you are um, trustworthy. Yeah. And how about the fact that they can learn from your mistakes before they make it. Yeah. Is that pretty good? It's mm -hmm. a pretty good thing, huh? So yeah, I mean that's that's a that's a good thing for everybody to to keep in mind is so uh, who messes up? Does is it just kids that mess up? No, everybody does. So old people, young people, is it people that aren't in leadership positions that mess up? No, everybody, presidents, janitors, teachers, firemen, windshield wipers, everybody messes up. Yeah, that's good. That's definitely good to keep in mind because, you know, that's, it shouldn't have to be, we shouldn't have to say it because like she says, everybody messes up, but sometimes it's good to, to realize that and to remember that because sometimes when we mess up, it is hard to kind of deal with. Sometimes it feels like maybe I'm the only one messing up or you know things like that. So it's good to know that we all mess up. It's just something that happens. But the most important thing, and, and you guys talked about it, is taking responsibility, right? And so what happens if we don't take responsibility? What happens if we choose to blame somebody else for it we or blame something else for it we won't learn from our mistakes and then the people that follow the leaders won't trust the leaders anymore yeah anything else to add to that yeah that's pretty good <laughs> so that to me is is the biggest thing and and i think kylie's running out of words here because we've <laughs> we've talked about this several times but but that is the, that's the key to all of this is just taking responsibility for those mistakes. And like Trevor said, if we choose to blame somebody else, if we choose to blame circumstances or you know, whatever else it is that we choose to blame, we aren't taking responsibility for that. And so that means that we aren't going to grow because if we don't take responsibility, if we aren't sorry for those things, we don't really have a reason to grow because in our minds, we're doing right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, and we talked about this a little bit earlier. Do you remember what the word that we talked about, what that means? Hum humidity. <laughs> humility. 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 Yes. Yeah. And that's that's a big part of all this is, is we have to be humble enough and have humility to take responsibility, even though it's not fun to say you messed up, right? Yeah. To say, 
that I made a mistake. I cost us some money. I cost us, you know, whatever it is. It's not fun to be that person to do that. But sometimes that's the best way to do it. And if you mess up, that's always the best way, right? So be humble, take responsibility, no matter how much it sucks, no matter how bad you think you're going to get in trouble, it's always best to take responsibility and, and to do the right thing, right, guys? Yeah, because yeah. it helps you in the long run. That's right. So some good, good conversations right there for sure. So where have you guys learned about what you know as far as leadership and, and things like that? Where, where have you learned it from? Like teachers, firefighters, parents, like just like throughout the day, someone will teach you another thing about leadership. Yeah. Um, I've learned, I think, obviously I've learned most of my stuff from you, most of my leadership skills, like responsibility and to be trustworthy and to own up to your actions from you. And also I've learned a lot about leadership from uh, The Office, my favorite show. Yeah, there's a lot of good leadership learning about in that show. Um, and yeah, from teachers and firefighters and policemen. So she brings up the office and we talked about this last time, but she's really struggling here that they're about to take it off of Netflix. And, and that's actually the first time she mentioned the office in her, the, the places that she's learned leadership. But so, it's um, hard to talk about. She, she lost some points from me for being having respect with that answer, but I guess that's all right. So <laughs> we've got a, we've got a counselor on standby tonight when yeah. they, they take it off of Netflix because I'm it's, sure she's going to have a hard night. It's a tragedy. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's great. And I, I like kind of what Trevor said and we'll go off a little bit more off of that is, is almost kind of my version of what he said is you got to keep your eyes open because you can always find things to learn from always find things that inspire you always find things to you know learn examples and and different things from because you just never know you know just like Jacob said earlier on his answer to what leadership is you know I I didn't expect him to say that earlier and that was a, was a good answer and so that tells you that you just got to keep your eyes open and, and pay attention to what's going on because there's always things that we can learn and, and people we can learn from. So that's some good stuff. So Kylie got on to me earlier because I didn't ask it because it's on my sheet, but, but she kind of mentioned it earlier. And, and so I'll ask this again because she's going to keep me to it. But so what have you learned from me <laughs> as you know in, in this realm of, of topics um like i said before when we were talking about another question i learned from you to own up to your actions take responsibility and i learned to be responsible and be trustworthy and be accountable though i'm still struggling with that one um mainly just the main character traits of leadership to me I learned from you I appreciate that Trevor I learned from you to like never give up because we've done this four times and we, haven't got, <laughs> and we haven't given up yet and to um like try hard on everything no matter what it is and yeah very good. I appreciate that. And that's, that's kind of, you know, I, I wrote that question down when I was writing up some notes for this. And the more I thought about it, I, I figure it's kind of a goofy question. I don't want to, it's almost like I'm trying to draw attention to myself. So I quit asking it, but Kylie asked it last time. So I, I appreciate hearing kind of 
from them, but also it lets you kind of know some things that they're learning, even though you might not formally have these conversations, you know, they still pick it up. And so it's really cool to hear this stuff from them. And so uh, I've enjoyed that. Ye, we uh, talked about taking responsibility and owning up to your actions. Jacob, have you ever heard us telling you to, to take responsibility and to own up to your actions? You ever heard that conversation? No. No, you haven't really? <laughs> okay. That was a that was a trick question because he knows the answer is yes. We have this conversation all the time, but he apparently is not wanting to talk about it, which is fine. But I think as a parent, that's just one of the most important things that that I want to get across to them because it just makes a huge difference in life between the people that mess up and take responsibility and and learn and, and do better as opposed to those that mess up and try to find excuses and, and all that. So it's a big, big, important thing. And, and I'm, I'm glad that they're listening when it's talked about, because it is talked about a lot around here. So we, we talked about what leadership means. We talked about what makes good leaders. We talked about if we enjoy being leaders. So what are some things that you guys are going to try to work on to be even better leaders taking responsibility okay. for anything in particular just everything in yeah, life just everything in life so anytime there's something going on you want to focus on making sure you're yeah. taking responsibility for it okay that's good kylie um i i definitely need to work on my accountability because I forget things a lot and I am late sort of a lot. Not as bad as my problem for forgetting things, but yeah, definitely need to work on that. So that is what I will be doing this year. Okay. That's good. It's good to always have areas that we're working on and, and trying to grow because like we've already talked about, we're, we're all stronger in certain areas and we're all weaker in certain areas. And so while those strong areas are good and we want to use those in the best way we can, we also want to pay attention to some of those weaker areas and try to make them better. Right. So that we can become better people and better leaders and, and just better all around. You agree with that? Mm -hmm. Good deal. So, I think that's about all the notes I have for for us today. I'm looking over real quick just to make sure I didn't forget anything. You know, we we've talked about some good stuff. You know, we talked about what leadership means. We've talked about what we enjoy about being leaders. We've talked about being leaders, even though that we're not the oldest or the most experienced or the ranks of chiefs or generals or whatever we've talked about a lot of good things do you guys have anything else that that you missed that you want to say before we stop Not that can think of. Not no that I can think of it. jacob you got anything inspirational to tell everybody out there mm, no okay well <laughs> Well, I think we've used all the words, we, which is a very impressive thing, especially for these two on the ends here that for anybody that's watching, these guys love to talk. And so I have enjoyed this time. I appreciate everybody out there listening to us and spending the time listening to us. Hope that you got to learn a little bit. And even if it's just that no matter what there's somebody watching and somebody learning from you so take advantage of, of any chance you get to to be a good example to anybody out there and so we'll leave you with that i we all hope that you have a great new year's eve tonight everybody stay very safe and i just hope that everybody out there approaches this new year with a great attitude and just a a drive to do better. And like Trevor says, don't give up, keep doing good and 
and good things will happen. So is that it? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. We will see you next week and stay safe and take care of each other. You want to tell bye? Bye. Bye. <laughs> see you later. That was a 33-minute video. That was awesome.